Hey guys, it's your bro, uh, Richie Rich here again. Today in this video, I'm back with another video. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking to you all about the next uh, Soviet vehicle, uh, the Soviet uh, Cold War uh, era artillery vehicle. Uh, so I've done uh, the video on the, um, it was the ATL. So I'm just so tired, really. Uh. Yeah, the ATL are done. Uh, so uh, uh, the next, so uh, the next uh, uh, Soviet Union military vehicle I'm gonna do next is the ATT. So uh, this is gonna be interesting considering there's not much info on there anyways. So uh, let's do it. Before I start, make sure you all like the video. Before I start, <coughs> excuse me. Before I start, make sure you all like the video. Subscribe. So like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notif hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted of when I make brand new uploads. Alright, <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's begin. So, the ATT, here we go. <clears throat> so, the Artillerist, Artillerist, ah, still can't pronounce the word. If I can't pronounce, I'm just going to use... Google Translate. Well, it's a translation app, so it's a lot easier. So, uh, if I can't say the words, then uh, I, I'll just translate it just to make things a lot easier. So, the Artillerysky Tigach Tijoli. Artillerysky Tigach Tijoli. That was close enough. So, uh, or just simply ATT. So the uh, AT ATT um, <clears throat> uh, was so meaning heavy artillery. So heavy artillery, artillery uh, tractor uh, was a Soviet cold was a Soviet Cold War um, a Soviet Cold War era um, artillery tractor. So artillery tractor uh, the AT the ATT is based. So the the AT, ATT is based, so the ATT is based um, on the both the chassis and drive system uh, from the uh, T fifty four T fifty five Soviet tanks. Um, however, the hull has been uh, rotated one hundred one hundred and eighty degrees, so fifty percent, uh, with the engine clutch. So the um, engine, engine clutch. So the engine clutch gearbox. Uh, steering gear and drive wheels uh, located at the front of the vehicle uh, on the tank. Uh, these are located uh, to the rear. The crew cabin is also uh, located in the front part in the front part of the vehicle uh, and it's from the ZI the ZIS 150 and so ZIS 150 and ZIL uh, 164 so 164 uh, trucks. Uh, the type is an artillery tractor. It's an artillery tractor. Uh, place of origin uh, USSR. So you, so place of place of origin USSR, which is a union of Soviet uh, socialist uh, republics, aka the Soviet Union. So the USSR, uh, Union of Soviet uh, Socialist uh, Republics, or just commonly known as the Soviet Union. Uh, production history is next. Uh, the design was it was designed in the mid sixties. Uh, produced between uh, the years nineteen forty seven, so nineteen forty seven, so nineteen forty seven, so nineteen forty seven to nineteen seventy nine. It's like between the like the late forties and uh, late so late forties and late seventies uh, it was. Uh, specific specific. I uh, can't talk. Specific specifications is next. Um, the mass was just twenty tons. Wow, weighs more than a house. Like twenty tons. I don't know, but I don't know. But that's how much like like tanks even weigh. Depends on which tank you're talking about, or which tank it is technically from what country, and well, what the specifications on each tank would be, or any other military vehicle. So the specifications, uh, mass is just uh, twenty tons. It's like twenty, like twenty thousand kilos, roughly. I'd say thirty, forty thousand pounds. 
or more or a bit more or less i don't know but yeah mass is 20 tons um <clears throat> length is um uh seven point uh zero four uh three uh meters which was just 23 feet um so 23 feet um said so 20 <coughs> 23 feet um so 23 feet 1.3 inches say so length 7 7.043 uh meters 23 feet say so 23 feet um so 23 feet 1.3 meter well not meter sorry 1.3 inches there we go so that was length width 3.170 which is 3.17 so just 3.170 uh, meters 10 feet um say so 10 feet 4.8 round up is nearly 5 inches so just 4.8 inches really height approximately 3 meters uh 9 feet so 3 meters 9 feet say 9 feet um so 9 feet uh 10.1 inches say 10.1 inches uh for the crew uh is maximum it can fit 18 uh two in the front so it can fit 18 soldiers into it two in the front and so two in the front and 16 two in the front and 16 at the rear so two 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 soldiers in, two soldiers in the front well the rest of the um 16 at the rear because at the back has much more space so for the crew maximum is maximum of 18 soldiers so 18 soldiers um two in the front so two in the front 16 so two in the front 16 at the rear uh for the engine it's got a it's a diesel engine with, with which has got 415 horsepower what that's just amazing that's just nuts that's brilliant 415 horsepower that's like the same as a uh, roush ford mustang that was in top gear against that shelby mustang gt500 by two seconds faster with better brake suspension and with a 45 horsepower deficit well decrease i would say and uh, i would say the same as a 2007 i think if i'm not mistaken uh 911 gt3 rs which has 415 horsepower that was used also in top gear against the lamborghini gallardo and the aston martin uh v8 uh vantage uh the racing edition with a master switch ignition fuel pump all that kind of stuff with a 110 liter endurance fuel tank i mean 415 horsepower that's pretty good so the engine is a is a 400 is a 415 say 400 and um 415 horsepower uh diesel engine not bad suspension is a torsion bar uh torsion bar um optional range uh, is uh, 1100 kilometers which is uh around 680 right up is like, right up is like nearly like close to 700 miles on the road pretty good <clears throat> maximum maximum speed is um 35 kilometers an hour which is just 20 miles which is 22 miles an hour which is not really that much anyways uh for uh last part is variance and that will pretty much be it uh for the variance we've got the bat uh m obstacle so obstacle removing uh vehicle uh btm so btm uh btm3 uh so btm3 uh high speed trench uh trench digging so trench digging vehicle then we got the uh So yeah, I'm gonna have to translate this word. I literally just for every time I can't translate the Russian words, I just use Google Translate just to help out. So uh, then we got we got the uh, how do you say this? Kharkovchanka. Um, Kharkovchanka. There we go. The Kharkovchanka. So Kharkovchanka. So Kharkovchanka. Um, Antar Antarctic um, off-road vehicle. Uh, the MDK, uh, MDK 2M, so MDK, <clears throat> MDK, uh, 2M, uh, pits digging, uh, vehicle, and the P40, P40, um, P40, 
uh, radar. Is that P40? It's a P40. It's a P40 radar. <clears throat> All right. So a bit over 10 minutes, but pretty good. Okay. So there we go. So, so that'll be it. Uh, if you guys like this, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you literally want to make brand new uploads. All right. <clears throat> so uh, that'll be it. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. But until then, stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So take care, folks. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.